Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series, number 16 I believe in the series, of using Eureka Doom Editor to create Doom maps. And um, today we're going to look at, I'm going to try to create some errors in the map and show ways to fix some of these errors. Uh, and I tell you what, uh, back in the 90s I used to create Doom levels a lot and then I didn't for many many years and I recently in the last year or so started doing it again. And I tell you what, things are so much better than they were back in the 90s in this aspect. Because, I mean, there's Eureka Doom Editor does a great job of not just telling you about errors, but also trying to fix them. It is amazing. So, let's go ahead, and what I'm going to do here, first thing I'm going to do is actually have an, a, an error that doesn't really cause problems, but isn't quite right. It's that I've actually had for a while in this level. Uh, basically, if you go up to Tools, you can see here that you can do, um, or I'm sorry, Check All F9. So, I usually just hit F9. And it'll start telling things uh, right here, right away. It tells you uh, that you have your map is missing deathmatch starts because by default it gives you four co-op start positions, but doesn't necessarily give you deathmatch because maybe your level isn't designed for deathmatch. This is just a little warning saying that there are no deathmatch starts. Uh, I'm going to continue here, and here it's going to tell me that I have one non-animated switch texture, and I can choose fix or show. I'm going to click show, and it's going to show me this switch here. So let me go ahead and move my 3D preview here. You can see the switch here. Well, the way I selected this texture, when I switch it in the game, let me go ahead and show you this. When you flip that switch, theoretically, see I flipped it and that wall's going down, but the flip, the switch didn't flip. It's I, it's because of the way I, I chose that texture. And the what we're going to do here is F9. The, the easiest thing to do is just let Eureka fix it. Continue now. Theoretically, I should be able to go in here and there you see that time the red went to green and the switch flipped. So it fixed that animation for me. Here's another thing you might have. Let's go over here where we have all these bad guys. Let me go ahead and just turn off my snap to grid. I'm going to put these two guys right here. Now if I hit F9, it's going to show me that I have one actor stuck. Show and it's going to show me that these two they're so close together that they're stuck together, and then I can fix that. And it will show me if I, you know, do that a couple of times. I hit F9, now it's telling me there's two actors stuck. Show and showing there, and that will do that if they're stuck like that. Or uh, if I put one in the wall, it should also tell me that F9 actor stuck, one void thing. That's I think it's because he's technically outside of that sector. I can say show and it'll show and I can move him. If I hit F9 I can just say remove and it will remove it if I want to do that. Uh, so that is another thing that you're going to do for you. Now I'm going to quickly create, let me turn on my snap to grid, a little room over here, another little sector. As it's just a simple little sector here, but let's say that I put a door here and things in this room and I liked it so much, I want to make another copy of it over here. Let me go ahead and make this room a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to hit sector, I'm going to choose that sector, that sector. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste right here. And then I'm going to move that right there. Great, right, so those rooms are connected now, right? Eh, well, not quite. Uh, you can see here when I hit F9, we have one unclosed sector and one mismatch sector. Let's hit continue. It's showing me that I have four crisscross uh, lines. And if I continue, continue, th those are all my errors here. So this room is still, the sector is still not connected. Uh, so what I can do here with these, I can say show and it will show me the issues I have. Unclosed sector, uh, mismatched. So it's unclosed because this is touching it, but it's kind of open. So let me go ahead and take this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, I'm going to go like that, I'm going to go like this, and like that. And now, that should be connected, but there still might be problems. Like here, I connected the vertices there, but there, the lines overlap. If I go show, it's going to show me that those two lines are overlapped. If I hit F9, I can say remove, and it will remove one of those. And now, I can continue through this, and I now have the sector connected, but you'll notice the ground sector section is not showing up here. If I hit S, uh, this sector has issues. And if I click uh, F9 now, uh, it says unused sides. It's showing me thing. I can say show me this. It's show me that. Uh, show me. It's going to show me the same thing there. Let me go ahead and hit continue. Continue. I'm going to hit F9 again. I'm just going to say for right now. I'm going to say remove 
for those. Continue. Continue. I'm going to hit F9 again. I, I let Eureka, in most cases, take care of whatever it can take care of. Now, what I can do now, because I kind of messed up the sector when we deleted this line. So what I can do is, in sector mode, come over here, and most of the time, I should be able to just hover my cursor over there and hit spacebar, and it fixes that sector for me. If I hit F9 now, I don't have any of those errors. And I should be able to come in here and see that I have those new rooms. And again, that's very helpful if you create a number of rooms and the doors and you don't have to go through and label it all again. You just copy, paste, connect like so. Um, another thing that Eureka will check for you, there's lots of things it will check for you. Um, let's say I wanted to have this line, when I walk through it, do something or a switch, anything like that. So I'm gonna hit that line, I'm gonna say choose, and I'm gonna say that I want it to, uh, oops, not so, let's do, doesn't, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna say lift, and when I say when I walk through, I want it to lower a lift. Okay, great. Well, now I hit F9 and hit continue, it's gonna tell me that it's missing a needed tag. So I'm gonna say show, it's actually showing me, oh, because I had all those selected. So basically, these all, when I created this, I had those wall, those lines selected and I didn't realize it. So real quick, let's go ahead, select this select uh, sector. I'm going to hit L to have all those selected. And I'm just going to come up here for type and I'm going to hit zero. Okay, now if I hit F9, it's going to tell me that I have one line missing a needed tag. I'll click show and it will show me that line. So what it's saying is, well, I said I wanted this to activate a lift when I walk through it, but I didn't give it a tag to tag to a sector. So I need to give it a tag. So if the sector is already created, I want to make sure whatever tag I have is applied to this. I haven't yet. Uh, if I hit F9, I can click here and it says, do you want me to apply a fresh tag to it? I'll say apply. And it's going to give it the next number, which in this case is nine. I still, if I hit F9, it's not going to give me an error here. Oh, maybe it does. Um, it's saying that I have this tagged. To, to lower a lift, but it's not connected to any sector. So I would then at this point um, want to create a sector such as this. I'll lift its floor up a little bit and I will give it a tag of nine to match the tag of that wall. Now we should be good because I have a wall with a tag that's linked to a sector. So. There you go. There's lots of other things that this may check. Sometimes it will say, um, you know, something is being removed. Oh, here's another thing. So let's say I had, I go in here. I'll just add in here this little health file or whatever it's going to be. I'll say it's a weapon. I'm going to give you the BFG. Remember we have here where I say it shows up on easy, medium, or hard? Well, let's say I uncheck all of those. It will tell me it's unspawnable. There is no case scenario, you have that BFG there, there is no case scenario where that will actually show up in the game. Uh, you can say show and it will show you that and then you can check the boxes if you want. Or if you want, you just say fix and it's going to check all three levels for you. So that's another thing. And I've had that happen because things like uh, your player start position. Uh, oh, right now, I must have done this uh, easy, medium, hard. Those are usually unchecked for those. Um, so I can select all three of those and just uncheck them. And you'll notice they won't give me an error because th they, they show up on all difficulty levels. But I've had cases where I have one of those selected and I click over here to add a new item and it adds that player position. I'm like, oh no, I want that to be a shotgun. Well, it changed it to a shotgun, but these are still all unchecked. F9, it's going to tell me. I can click show, it will show it to me. I'll hit fix and it'll add all three of those for me. So that is a good thing to do regularly. I don't you know, definitely before when you're done with your level, definitely hit F9, but you might want to do it before that. Um, but if you're having problems in your level, it may show you, uh, you know, what the issue is. And again, there are a lot of things that it checks. Sometimes it will show you where the things are. It will give you an option to either remove or fix those elements. Um, let me see if I can cause one more thing here. I'm going to go vertices. I'm going to add in a sector here. And if I move that sector to here, now I hit F9, mismatch sector. I'm going to go continue. Uh, it's going to tell me four lines uh, across. I'm going to click continue, continue. I was hoping it would say so, something about the vertices here. Um, what happens if I do this? Now I take that sector and hit F9. 
Okay, so now we have two vertices overlapping. So let me just continue. I'm not going to fix any of that just now. Um, it's showing, so I, you can see I have a vertice here and a vertice here, but there's actually one there and one here and one there and one here. And there's different ways you can fix that. Uh, let me just undo that. One is I can pull one away and put it back. And now sometimes that will merge it. If not, I can box select those and hit M and it should merge them and same with these and that will fix that problem. Uh, let me undo that and hit F9. I can also just say merge and it will merge them for me so I don't have to individually select them. Again, we have these two lines now overlapping. Uh, there's really no way for me to show you that, but I can just click remove and it will remove one of them, which ends up causing the sector to be open. And if I hit F9 now, uh, it's telling me I can click remove on this. And again, it still doesn't fix that problem, but the way we can fix this, I can say show, it's gonna show me this. S for sector. Anytime you see a sector like this, where it's showing, it's it's not closed, there's, it's connected, but it the ground isn't showing up, and you can see that only three of the four walls, just go into sector mode, hover your cursor over it, hit spacebar, it's going to recreate that sector, hopefully properly, and now we have that sector there. Might wanna fix the textures. Anyway, those are, uh, Eureka trying to fix errors for you or at least notify you of them, which is awesome, rather than in most cases trying to figure out yourself what the problems are. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, check out the link in the description to the full playlist and visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. A link in the description of the video as well. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.